Oh, there you go. Hi, friends. Doc South here. And yeah, yesterday was my granddaughter uh, Dora's birthday. Yes. Oh, and uh, just such a sweetie. We She lives pretty far away out, you know, out in uh, California with her folks. And uh, my um, my son's uh, in-laws are near, near at hand. So she's got it made out there. She's uh, got everybody uh, wrapped around her finger. <laughs> and uh, she's, uh, I believe, in kindergarten now. And uh, it's kind of an advanced kindergarten, I believe, from what I gather. And she's uh, yeah, out in central California and seems to be uh, just taking life by the, by the horns. Oh, she, we talked to her a bit last night, uh, Sandy and I, and she was just so excited over all the, uh, all the uh, birthday gifts and the party and the, all the hoopla. And she was just, you know, you, I, she was ready to explode. She was just that happy. Isn't that cool? Oh, I wish she was closer, but, well, we live out here on the uh, East Coast, and she's out there. She's a California girl. <laughs> And, uh, but a real, <coughs> real sweetie. I think you'll find videos of her. If you go back to last summer, yeah, last summer, uh, on this YouTube channel, uh, we did, uh, my son and his wife and Dora, Claudia, uh, and Dora, along with my son, came out to, um, uh, to visit relatives, well, some of Burgess's uh, relatives, my my ex-wife's family and such, and me and Sandy, uh, and uh, and Sunny, I believe as well. My daughter Sunshine came over uh, from Mystic to see him, and geez, we uh, we all met at a. Uh, it was kind of like um, a cross between an amusement park and a farm out in uh, near, uh, I guess near Reading, Pennsylvania, that neck of the woods. Yeah, and we we had a grand old, uh, oh yeah, we had a great, uh, great day uh, visiting with her, and that was her first chance to meet my wife Sandy, and oh my gosh, her and Sandy were just, um, yeah, just bosom buddies. <laughs> That's pretty much how it was. Oh my, but it was, and it was cool. It, you know, it's I gotta recommend. Grandchildren aren't really that bad at all. They're pretty pretty neat to have around. I remember being a my grandparents just oh my gosh spoiling me rotten, and uh, and I was happy to do that with Dora and my granddaughter Sadie when she was uh, much younger. She's now she had grown up and doing pretty good for herself. So all in all, kids great. <laughs> Maybe when they're teenagers, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not then. But, uh, and I know I was no picnic when I was a teenager, so. Uh, but I think it's, I think it's the hormones. Yeah, they, you, you just, yeah. Hot and cold running hormones, you just can't, yeah. You can't think straight when you're a teenager. <laughs> Although we got some pretty good teenagers at work. I, yeah, they, they're out there doing their job and stuff. So I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe things have changed. Uh, but yeah, grandchildren, good, huh? You got them? Okay, good for you. Me too. And uh, well, we'll see. You never know, maybe there'll be a few more. I wouldn't mind great-grandchildren. Except, I, boy, I'd be very old. I'd probably be scary. <laughs> no, maybe not. Who are you? <laughs> Oh, my. And, uh, well, and anyway, I'll get going, but I just thought I'd brag a bit. Yeah, it was uh, my son's birthday about a week ago, and uh, Dara just a day or two ago. Yeah, so that's uh, it's pretty neat, pretty cool. <sighs> I'll see you later. God bless. I hope your grandchildren, if you're, if you're my age, your grandchildren, your children, your brothers and sisters, gosh, your grandmas, grandpas, I hope they're all just as swell as the, the ones I've been blessed with, huh? Okay. I'll see you later, friends. God bless.